Is your clock off? Is everything wrong? I am a hot mess. You are a hot mess. <laughs> Television star and Hollywood actor Evan Peters isn't quite as reclusive as the real life serial killer he recently brought to life in Netflix's Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer story. But that isn't to say that this talented actor likes to share details on his home life with the rest of us, which is why we've done the digging for you. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Evan moved to Los Angeles in 2002 at the age of just 15 years old, hoping to become a child actor, and at the time it wasn't exactly a decision he had put a lot of thought into. He explained to Issue Magazine, I look back and realize it was quite a life-changing decision that I just made sort of willy-nilly. I just thought it would be awesome and fun to come out here and act. Moving from LA to Missouri, Peters had to adjust to a major culture shock. Everything from the diversity of the people people around him to the heavy traffic and of course the booming art scene. 10 years later, Evan would meet and fall in love with his co-star on American Horror Story, Emma Roberts. That would kick off a seven year relationship that would be marked with a whole bunch of off screen drama, including Robert's arrest in 2013 on domestic violence charges, an event that was later described as an unfortunate accident and misunderstanding. Afterwards, the couple would work past their differences while living in Robert's modest sized home tucked into a cul de sac in the hills of Los Angeles above Laurel Canyon. Property records reveal that Emma originally purchased this residence on her own in 2010 for around $1.25 million. The home was built in 1949 and completely redesigned in 2008 by low-key LA interior designer AJ Bernard. The sharply articulate but warmly finished single-story house measures in at 2,142 square feet and includes two bedrooms along with two and a half baths in the main house. Then there's more located in an attached two-room guest quarters that extends right off the back of the house. Those two rooms in the guest house could be used for practically anything. And prior to Emma moving in, the previous owner had utilized the smaller of the two as a fitness slash yoga studio and the larger one with its wood framed French doors and canyon views as a music studio. In terms of the interior details, the guest house boasts some eye catching medium dark floors made out of wood reclaimed from a French chateau, while the floors in the main house consist of some very expensive 12 inch wide plank French oak. Entering the premises, you are greeted by a solid wood door with stainless steel accents that opens to a somewhat narrow corridor connecting the home's primary living, dining, and entertaining areas all together. The living room includes a marble topped wet bar alongside a puzzle table, chairs, and a complete wall of custom built floor to ceiling oak cabinets that hide a state of the art entertainment system. Meanwhile, wood framed glass doors stretch along the entire back wall and fold accordion style into a slim terrace that steps off to a stretch of the outside lawn. Then there's the dining area located just off of the Eden kitchen that's anchored by a massive concrete fireplace with a raised hearth and a very minimal floating shelf that's perfect for the display of cookbooks or other utensils. The kitchen itself includes a center island with a two seat snack counter and an inline range top. Also, those custom oak cabinets that hold a variety of European stainless steel appliances. And the countertops might just be the most jaw-dropping part of the main house and they're crafted out of Calcutta gold. Each of the two main bedrooms include their own well-equipped, if not huge, ensuite bathroom. The spare room offers a sliver of windows set just above eye level and makes use of a standard sized washroom with old time honeybee floor tiles that don't exactly contrast all that well with the contemporary and custom built oak vanity. The nearby master suite is big enough to include its own sitting area with built in floating bookshelves. In fact, the room is so big that it even spills out into the backyard through a complete wall of folding floor to ceiling wood framed glass doors. The attached skylit master bath boasts more Calcutta gold in the form of a vanity as well as a curtain wall of frameless glass that separates the bathroom area from an oversized steam shower with marble bench. 
As for the outside, it might not be huge, but it's still a decent size and incredibly flat, especially for a home in the Hollywood Hills. There was even enough room for Emma and Evan to potentially add a pool, but they never got around to doing so. Instead, in August 2016, Emma sold this home to her fellow American Horror Story co-star Sarah Paulson for $1.65 million. Then she and Evan went house hunting for a place to share together. After living in her house together, it took the two a decent stretch of time to find the perfect place. But in 2018, Emma and Evan became the new owners of an attractive Mediterranean-style villa in Los Feliz's celebrity-packed enclave of Lawland Park. Here, their neighbors included the likes of Angelina Jolie and Natalie Portman. At the time they bought the home, it was unclear if Evan was officially a co-owner of the property, but according to reports, the property deed shows that the $4.02 million purchase was made with two separate financial trusts. Completed in 1922, this 3,800 square foot, three story abode was painted a goldenrod yellow and offered three bedrooms and four baths. Over the years since, the interior has been fully updated and now offers walnut hardwood floors, mahogany built-ins throughout. There's also an early 2000s era kitchen with granite counters and name brand stainless steel appliances, including a sub-zero fridge that's been finished off with a glass door. Other main floor living spaces include a skylight topped entrance gallery situated next to a living room with a carved stone fireplace that boasts French doors leading out to a covered terrace. The home's dining room includes more floor-to-ceiling French doors that open out to a balcony. And then there's the den that boasts a long stretch of custom-built cabinets and a mounted TV above. Upstairs, the couple's master suite had offered not one but two custom closets and a spa-style bathroom with double vanity, tub, and glass-enclosed steam shower. A bottom level family room offered another spa to rest and relax with its travertine tile floors and an accompanying walk-in wet bar that opened through French doors to the lush grounds out back. Here there was a tree shaded swimming pool with a separate infinity edged circular spa. There was even an outdoor kitchen and bar area that could be enjoyed with visiting guests or while out walking through the terraced gardens laced with stone pathways. Unfortunately, only about a year or so after buying this home together and moving in, Evan and Emma's relationship finally hit its breaking point. They called things off in March 2019 and an insider would tell Us Magazine, Emma and Evan were heading for a split and now are just friends. Evan has moved out, it wasn't a bad breakup. Emma would move on to date and marry another fellow actor, Garrett Hedlund, while Evan isn't really officially seeing anyone new as of right now. I mean, he's been linked to pop star Hall but that didn't seem to be as serious as what he had with Emma and by all accounts, their relationship was very short-lived. As for where Evan's living these days, well, that's also a big giant question mark. But I'm gonna guess that it's somewhere in Los Angeles, especially with all the work he's got going on. As soon as we find out where that is, we'll update you. But for now, that's gonna bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Be sure to let us know what you thought about Evan Peters' former homes in the comments down below. And when you're finished with that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to turn on your notifications. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.